Although the past year has been very challenging for many reasons, outboard innovation hasn't slowed. We've seen a lot of firsts in the past 12 months. Boat sales and outboard sales have skyrocketed and back orders are stretching into the months now. But that hasn't slowed technology and there's been a lot of fantastic new introductions this year. Probably the most notable was Mercury's new 600 horsepower V12 outboard. Invented from the ground up, this thing is chock full of new technology and interesting innovations. Yamaha introduced some new innovations with its upgraded SHO series of outboards and innovative new products that they introduced this year. So let's take a closer look. With the demand for larger boats, more horsepower, more outboards, more performance, and more technology, outboard manufacturers really have to hustle to keep up with demand. Outboard power craft are undeniably one of the fastest growing boating segments. And with that, the boats are getting bigger and bigger and requiring more and more power to push them and also requiring more and more efficiency. Boats of a size that might have typically been powered by inboard engines or big diesels are now being powered and designed to be powered by multiple engines, outboard engines. While it wasn't uncommon to see twins or trips even on center console boats and larger boats, now it's not uncommon to see quads or even trips. Mercury early on recognized this trend and five years ago started developing the 600 horsepower 7.6 liter V12 outboard it introduced this year. And because it was developed from the ground up, it has some pretty amazing innovations. As a member of the marine media, I was fortunate enough to be invited to the premiere of the 600 horsepower outboard on Mercury's top secret Lake X test facility in the swamps of central Florida. It was there on that foggy morning that they introduced this as some pretty amazing technology and a lot of firsts for these outboards. The first thing that struck me is just the sheer size of these motors. They're enormous. But when you think about the type of boat that they're going to be mounted on and designed for, they actually are perfectly proportioned. Mercury engineers started with an all new V12 block. They had to get the largest die cast machine in the United States to be able to cast this custom narrow block designed to stand on its end. Because these enormous motors are slim, they're actually able to be mounted 27 inches on center. Because of this, there's several advantages of having the motors so close together. One, of course, is you can pack more motors on a transom or have space on either side, giving you more access to swim platform or better access around the engines for fishing and uncluttering your transom area. Now, another key reason these engines are able to be mounted so close together at the 27 inches on center is the engines actually don't turn. It's just the lower unit that turns. This electro-hydraulically steered lower unit looks and acts very similar to a pod system, but this is a first on an outboard, and it's going to be interesting to see if this trickles down to other motors. Steering is very easy and effortless because you're just turning the lower unit, not the whole motor. The motor sits still, and while it can be a bit disconcerting at first looking back and when you're trying to maneuver the boat and seeing the engine sitting still, if you've driven inboards or if you just look at your smart gauge display and watch the rudder indicators, you know exactly where your motors are and it's a short learning curve to operate these guys. Now steering under joystick, the outer outboards will swing as far as 45 degrees, while um, under throttle they'll swing 30 degrees. This makes close quarter maneuvering and docking very, very simple. Another aspect the engineers took a lot of time in developing for these motors was the sound, or I should say the lack of it. These motors are incredibly quiet, not only at idle, but at high speed. Just listen to this engine revving up. Oh, you hear the wind in the water more so than the engines.
or listen to them at idle? These motors were so quiet they had to remove the telltale water trail from the water pump because it was making too much noise and that's all you could hear. Just incredible. With this new design you also don't hear the gears clonking as you shift gears or as you put it in skyhook and the engines work to keep in the same position. Just listen, the engines are almost imperceptible when they change gear. And here's a clip of quads on the 500 SSC formula. That's 2,400 horsepower docking there. You can barely hear it. And just a side note, that's steam that you're seeing there, not smoke. It was very moist air and those engines draw in the air and get it so hot that it produces steam. So it's steam, not smoke. Another innovation, although not unique to these 600 horsepower, Suzuki also uses them on some of their larger outboards, is duoprop technology. This really helps give the engine the thrust it needs to push these larger, heavier boats. Another innovation that is unique to these 600 horsepower monsters is a two-speed transmission. The purpose, give the boat enough push in a lower gear to get it up on a plane quickly and going and then smoothly transition to the second speed to give better high-end performance. Now it is so smooth you really can't tell it's shifting unless you watch the tax and you see a slight drop in RPMs and that's the only way you can tell. It's very smooth, very efficient, and works very well. Another innovation Mercury has on these 600 horsepowers is not unique to Mercury but they've done their own spin on it and that's being able to access and service the motor while the boat's in the water engines they'll trim completely up out of the water and you can access all your fluids through the pop open hatch at the top. Cowling doesn't need to come off the motor until the first thousand hour service. Now again it's not unique just to Mercury to be able to service your engine while it's in the water. There are other motors that do that but you can even change your lower unit oil while the boat's in the water. Now Mercury engineers also recognize that today's boats, just like this one here, have a lot of electronics and a lot more electrical equipment on board. And they need an alternator that can keep battery banks charged and everything running. So they came up with a, a smart alternator with 150 amp output. Now this alternator is smart enough to recognize when batteries get low and can even increase idle speed if necessary. Now Yamaha, not to be outdone on their new updated SHO outboards, has a smart regulated alternator that actually will output up to 70 amps and it can determine uh, through a series of components it can determine what battery needs power more than others and feed it to it. Uh, quite an impressive system and this is on the new upgraded SHOs this year. Now I'm sure we'll see this technology move over to other outboards as well. Yamaha has some other interesting upgrades to their SHO series this year including uh, an automatic trim switch. All you have to do is uh, tap your trim switch a couple times and the engine will automatically lift to the up uppermost position. Uh, tap it again and it'll drop down to wherever the level was it was uh, set to previously. And then you can manually trim from there. Nice new feature that just adds to utility and comfort of using the motor. Along with the new 600 horsepower, they also introduced the DTS, the Next Generation Digital Throttle and Shift System. Sleek and ergonomic, these controls are packed full of innovative features and functions made to make operating the boat and the engines that much easier. With built-in active trim, which automatically adjusts trim for optimal performance, there are buttons on the front that you can manually adjust trim if you like. 
there's a button on the side of the throttle that will sequentially start and sequentially stop multiple outboard engines. You also have control buttons on the side of the throttle and individual engine start stop buttons on the bottom of the throttle control. There's also a green light at the top of the throttles to indicate when the, they are in the neutral position. Of course all of this is tied into the joystick control. Is a premier model that has an integrated digital display that connects boaters with valuable system information and helpful pop-ups such as when you're in skyhook mode and other modes with the accompanying joystick. Yamaha Marine also had some interesting news regarding electronic uh, control systems with their all-new Hellmaster EX. Touted as Yamaha's next generation integrated boat control system, it provides uh, multiple levels of control now available to a wide range of boaters with different throttle controls and different uh, systems available. And they're available for single through quad applications. There's now a redesigned joystick with smooth shifting software and control capabilities, uh, effortless autopilot that can be adjusted with the joystick, precise digital electric steering that can be added to any DEC capable Yamaha outboard, uh, with the exception of the 3.3 liter F250 and F350A models. There's also a new digital electronic control box and a new sharp looking design. Mercury Marine also recently announced uh, the Mercury Smartcraft Connect. Now this expands vessel view functionality to certain Garmin and Ray Marine displays. Uh, before you could only see the information on vessel view displays or certain Navico displays, uh, Simrad, Lowrance, B&G. Uh, but now you can see them on certain Garmin and Raymarine displays as well. If you get into details in this and other innovations that have happened over the past few months or the last year, but this video is getting long already, so we'll hit those in some upcoming videos. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, remember to like and subscribe, share with your friends, post comments down below, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you know when the next videos are available to watch. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you back here soon.